Okay, so it's our last day at city camp, and after this we're going to gas beer, and then after that we're going to Groningen. Welcome back to another episode of the Superbus Project with myself, Noxley One. Uh, the toilet's empty, uh, that all needs sorting out down there, i just got to chuck my bag back down there. The water canisters are all filled up, i just got to get rid of my rubbish bin, the van's running, we're all jump started and that. Uh, I'm going to have to change this battery down here for this battery here because this one is just not holding any power whatsoever anymore. Um, and apart from that I don't know what else to tell you, everything is secure. Uh, the soda stream sits in the lip there so it doesn't move too much and anyway even if it does it's not gonna you know it's not gonna cause too much chaos so that's fine that's all good um, yeah I don't really know what else to tell you until we get to gas beer so that's what I'm gonna do all my all I've stuffed everything up there now absolutely everything is living up there my books they're looking in a bit better condition than they were and uh, these are just coats and hoodies and what have you so yeah and the laptop's also the same that sits there without sliding around or anything so that's cool so yeah i'm going to chuck this all back in my bag i've got my money out for the campsite and then i'm going to chuck my bag down there and then the next time you see me hello this is me i will be at gas beer camping so yeah see you soon i have made it to gas beer uh i'm very hot very sweaty very irritated I got lost this like I got lost in the campsite. They take your passport off you at the door and uh, that worried me. The dude who's just cycled past there, he takes your passport off you. And that worried me. And then I went into reception, queued up once, and then the woman behind the desk was like, Oh your passport hasn't arrived here yet. So I had to queue up a second time and that was not fun because it was very hot in their stuffy little reception room that they've got going on there. And it's so busy here, man. I think City Camp definitely wins out just for busyness, but City Camp doesn't have a supermarket and showers and all sorts of things like that and toilet facilities. And so, really, I'm only here to use the facilities, like wash all my clothes and get all that done before I go to Groningen. And then from Groningen, I'll be going up to Sweden. But... Yeah, I just thought I'd come check out Gas Beer. I'm sure it's not as bad. I think I just need to chill out and relax and, you know, just <laughs> get get my bearings of the area and then I'm sure it'll be fine. But it's quite expensive here as well and I don't know. I think I just prefer the simplicity of City Camp. But there you go. Look how sweaty I am. You probably don't want to see this, but yeah. How sweaty I am. Look at this. That mess. Ugh. Grim. So there you go. But yeah, I made it safely to gas beer, so here we go. Oh, no, don't zoom in, don't zoom in. Zoom back, zoom back. And apparently I've got free Wi-Fi as well, which is nice. And electricity. The electricity is not free, though. But yeah, so I'm going to plug all that in now, and uh, then I'm going to go enjoy my day. Oh, i got a travel, a travel card as well, 24 hour. Look at all this information they gave me. I don't think there's any credit card details here. No, there aren't. Yeah, they gave me a 24-hour travel card that was only £7.50, or €7.50, which is, I think, cheaper. And they got a pretty good thing here going where if you don't check out later than... If you check out later than 12 p.m., they just charge you a few euros extra for the hours that you're there, which is kind of cool. Um, again, City Camp's better for that because they just used to say to the dude, oh, I'm going to be late paying today, and he's like, oh, no worries, my friend. And then here's the leaflet they gave me. 20 minutes from the centre of Amsterdam. They all say that, didn't they? Like, City Camp was 10 minutes from the city of Amsterdam, but you had to take a 10 minute bus boat ride and then walk some. So, there you go. Oh yeah, and it's in it's in a woodland as well. But not as nice as Den Helden. Den Helder, Den Helder was amazing. Not anywhere near as busy as this. So yeah, but they're just some of my thoughts and I will do another video later today to share more of them. So yeah, see you soon. Okay, so it's the next day, and it's raining, horrifically raining, I'm trying not to capture people, but yes, check it out, I've got lots of stuff to do today, this is the last day in Amsterdam before I go to Groningen, I'm staying here tonight, and uh, then tomorrow I will be leaving and heading towards Groningen, but unfortunately, if the weather's like this, I'm not going to be able to get anything done today, I need to head into town and get a few bits. Um, I've had a shower for today, I've got to do my laundry, laundry's there, I'm going to leave my laundry until like 1 o'clock tonight, uh, because, here's my theory, here is my theory, 
Um, I'm I'm hoping that nobody's going to be up and washing their stuff at two o'clock in the morning, which will give me just free run of all the machines and stuff like that. The only disadvantage of this is I need to make sure I get this all done in one go, or today I need to go buy another token for the wash machine. But uh, I've had a bit of a mistake. I thought coming here would make things a bit cheaper, like on-site showers and laundromats and all sorts of things like that. And uh, it turns out the showers cost money, so that's why I've used my, my bus shower. I haven't bothered to pay any money for the showers. And this, to do one, say half this bag is like one load of laundry, and then all of it together is a dryer. Like, the laundry costs like four euros, and the dryer costs like six euros. So really, I'd have been better off just taking it back to the laundromat at City Camp and just getting them to do it. Not at City Camp, but the long walk and then give it to the dudes, and then they do it for you. But here, I've got to do all my own laundry, and I have to pay for the privilege. Uh, so yeah, that's my intention for today, but really, I want to go to town and uh, sort a few bits out, but unfortunately I can't really do that while the weather's like this, so, yes, mm. this this place is alright, Gaspier's alright, it's like a cross between Den Helder and City Camp in the fact that it's cramped and there's a forest, do you know what I mean, like, City Camp was, wasn't too cramped, I feel, I feel a little bit more clamped in, cramped in here, um, I don't know, how can I show you? Let me see if further down there, you can sort of see how close the vehicles are together down there. Whereas the city camp, they weren't that bad, but I suppose there's all tow vehicles and things like that here as well. Um, so yeah, and there's loads of tents in one of the other fields, and I have no idea how they're getting on today. Good luck to them, but yeah. So yeah, it's not really anything interesting to show you today, I've just got to do my chores basically. I've got to do some washing up. I had I had a lovely dinner last night. Pork chop, salad, and uh, uh, egg. I think the eggs are made at Gas Beer. Are made. They're. <laughs> I think they're produced at Gas Beer. Like they have got chickens and stuff here. I think. I could be wrong, but I think. And uh, yeah. Not really much else to tell you. If something else interesting happens, I will I will certainly jump you back up. If the weather stops, we'll go check out the the Gaspier Forest, and that'll be interesting. But I mm, I'm not I don't really want to take my camera out in this. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, we'll see what happens. Welcome back to another episode of Walking with myself, Nox V1. This how badass is this? I've come from down in that direction, camping sites over there. And I'm heading this way. So yeah, very cool little place. Uh, it rained this morning, which is why there's all these puddles everywhere. And it hasn't really been that warm this afternoon. It's okay, I don't know what's over there. It's the sun. Oh, and I think there are people coming, so... I'll shut the camera down when I... And then when I find something interesting, I'll... Get back to you. Yeah, lots of ways to go. I'll see you soon. Check this out. One little bridge here. How cool is this? This is pretty neat. I'm gonna carry on in that direction. See if I can get over in over there, because that's where the uh, planetarium is. So, I see that when I walk to the train station. And if I remember, I'll put a picture of the train up on this video, because the trains are mental in Amsterdam, they're awesome. They just go on forever, it's so cool. But yeah, uh, I'm going to keep heading on, I'll catch you up in a second. So I still haven't found the beach. Ah! Sorry, wrong episode. I'm here on the edge of this lake. How badass is this? And I'm just in this little enclosed area. It's just like proper private and that. That's cool. Let's check this out. Raspier is the name of the campsite. G-A-A-S-P-E-R. Campsites are alright. I think I prefer city camp. I think I've already said this in this video. But I prefer city camp. But Gaspier is cool. Or Gaspar. It's cool too. This scenery is pretty awesome. But it's very busy, there's lots of people around. So I don't know. Then Helder's definitely got it beat for, you know, just quiet, chilledness. Yeah. 
I'm going to carry on my little adventure. I might do a lap of the lake, I don't know. See how far down there it goes. And I've no doubt it will end up on a river somewhere, so... If there's no bridge, it'll be a long journey back, but we'll see what happens. I know roughly where the campsite is in that direction, so... I should be sweet. And if not, there's loads of people around to ask, so it's all good. But yes, onwards. Onwards! So, I was about here I think about 20 minutes ago uh, maybe behind it and I've walked all the way around here and I'm here now there seems to be some little car park thing um, I'm gonna cut oh look there's a little river here as well I didn't even notice this I thought this was like a road or something oh that's cool look at that so sweet That's awesome. Sounds like there's a waterfall or something nearby as well. That might just be the wind in the leaves. There you go. Right, I'm going to carry on. So I think the last time I did a video, I was about here. I've come all the way down here. There's like a little outcropping of grass that I'm stood on now. I think if I carry on in that direction I can continue around because there's lake to the left of me and lake to the right and here I am stuck in the middle with you so yeah I think there's a dude actually swimming over there no way let me see go on zoom I know how much you love it I can't even see him on the camera holy crap that's awesome nice work dude Right, I'm going to carry on. I've got to get round to basically where the sun is. Well, not where the sun is, but you know what I mean. Get round that way, and then follow it all the way around back there. And then over there is where the campsite is, basically. Oh, it's more like over here. But we'll be there in no time, I'm sure. I think I've walked around the short edge of the lake. Now I've just got to do the long edge. And uh, we'll see what we see. It's been pretty cool though. This grass is very hard to walk in. I'm going to move back over to the path. This is my sensible idea for the day. Right then, onwards. Greetings humans. The last time we spoke, I was sort of in this area somewhere. I'm going to be kind of general. This area. And uh, I'm now kind of on the long side of the lake, I guess. Uh, I think if I go around this corner, there's still quite a bit to go but it's been good man, it's nice and chill, nice and relaxing especially in the evening when the sun's going down and it's not too too warm and it's not too bright, it's still pretty bright, I've got my sunglasses on but there are some parts there you can walk around and you don't need them on which is nice but yeah yeah, I've got ways to go, yeah well not too far though, don't look like Ah, sun, you're so bright. But yeah. Oh man, I'm so unhealthy. I'm so unfit. Alright, onwards. Duh, I took this path because I thought it would be more exciting. It's just more mudlogged. Mudlogged? More swampy? Water ridden? Damp? I don't know. Okay, I, we're coming up to a large field. I don't really know what to say to be honest with you. <laughs> Turn the camera on, I thought yeah let's do some recording and now I'm actually recording it's like ah, oh, what to say. Oh wow look at this, this is cool. There's some people up there chilling out on this beautiful day, I'll try not to film them, they probably don't want to be filmed. They probably just want to chill out. Yeah, you go, bird. Oh, there's more people over there. Well, look, I've just come from there. That was my alternate path. I could have come that way, but I came this way because I'm I love adventure. You know me. And uh, yeah, now we're over here. And now I've just got to do a little walk down to here, I think. And I'll be back at the campsite. But we shall see. Also, this looks suspiciously beach-like. But it isn't, because it's on a lake. But yeah, I'm going to 
carry on. I'll see you soon. You alright? I'm still in the same field. So there's the field. Da -da. But I just couldn't resist getting this shot. And it might be a bit of a risky one because the floor's a bit wet here. Let me see if I can zoom this out a little bit. Yeah, look at that. More footage of the same lake I've been showing you, but from a slightly different angle. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, man. I didn't realise you could stand up and canoe, is that? Like a standing canoe? Or is it surfing with a paddle? I don't know. Send your answers on a postcard to the Superbus project. But yeah, I suppose it makes sense, really. How cool is that? Oh man, Amsterdam's amazing. Holland in general is just amazing. I'm going to Groningen tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, we'll see if my... I don't know if I've already mentioned this in this video, but I'm planning on using the washer-dryer system at like 2 o'clock in the morning, so uh, there's definitely not going to be any queues or any problems. The only issue I foresee with this is I still don't know where the washer-dryer system is. So, yay adventure. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to carry on. <laughs> I've just done something very stupid. I've come round this way, and I seem to have gone all this way round, and I've just come up out the top here. And if you recognise these two areas over here, that's the path. And I was like, ooh, adventure. So I'm going to head back out this way and keep to the right this time. That's lucky I found this place, otherwise I would have completely lost my bearings. It's alright, it's still, there's still quite a bit of light left, so... I've got a bit of time to get back to the campsite, but yeah, oh, we'll try this again. Okay, this is where I made my mistake last time. <laughs> I went over here looking for the planetarium, and instead of rejoining this path, I think I just followed it all the way around there. But if I follow this path, I should be sweet. So I'm going to carry on. And if, I don't, if it's not that path, it's definitely this one here. And with that in mind, actually, I'm just going to follow this one. So here we go. <laughs> Okay, so, the area I need to be in is here, but unfortunately this bridge has collapsed and is taped off. And even if I was some sort of mad parkour expert, I don't think I could navigate this, or want to, through risk of hurting myself. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to backtrack, I'm going to find this path, and then I'm going to head that way and then that way, back to the campsite. So, here we go again. Here's a closer look at that bridge, and maybe with some parkour skills I could have got across. But I think this is the tree that fell over and destroyed it, and if you look over there, I'm trying not to get a couple on camera, but there's absolutely massive logs. Let me see if I can get a good picture without getting them in it. I think they're going now. How mad is this? of this thing. Let me see if I can give you an idea. There's my hand. <laughs> and there's the rest of the fucking thing. It's huge. Actually, hang on, a better a better example might be there's a lighter. And then look at the size of that thing. It's massive. No wonder that bridge got taken out. You could make a few tabletops out of that though, eh? That'd be sweet. Some legs there. Don't know what you turn that into, that looks pretty messed up. Like this little rotten stuff on the back there. But yeah, I'm almost back at my starting location, which is the main objective, so I'll holler when I get there. And here we are, back at the start. There's the bridge over there that I crossed. So I've done it, I've made it. Objective completed. Here's the patch of grass I walked across and I was going to head into that area over there but I think there was a couple there chilling out so there you go. I made it, I'm alive, I'm on my way home, right. <laughs> I will give you a shout when I reach the camper van or when something interesting happens. See you soon. I'm back, I got the kettle boiling and uh, yeah I think that's going to be it for today's video. I say today is there sort of every other three days, every three or four days now. But yeah, I've got the kettle on. I've had a lovely walk. That was awesome. 
I got to see a lot. <laughs> that was really cool. But uh, I'm very tired at the moment. We can do a brief overview tomorrow or something. But yeah. I'm going to end the episode here so I can enjoy a nice cup of tea. And uh, I will catch you on the next one. Take it easy. All the best. Bye bye. Okay, so I'm on my way to Groningen. I've just pulled over at the side of the road to get something to eat. I got myself a sausage roll from a wild bean cafe and a Fanta. Fanta over there. As you can see, we're doing pretty well. This is where we've stopped for the time being. And I don't know if I'm just going to add this onto the last video because uh, I haven't had a chance to edit any of that yet, so we'll see. But. Uh, Signing out of Gaspar this morning was a nightmare. They forgot to give me the sign out key and I had to back up into a, tra into a trail of three other caravans. So oh, that was an absolute nightmare. But I'm, I'm chilling out now, I'm relaxing. So here we go. Okay, yeah, this is all going to be one video. <laughs> I've made it to uh, Groningen. I'm very happy that I'm here. It's much more relaxed than Stads Park. Check this place out. The reception is straight over there, so I've got good access to the Wi-Fi. But I'm in quite a secluded little area over here, which is nice. I've got power down there. There's like a forest all around me, which is cool. But if we go over here, I don't really want to get too many people's camper vans on camera. But look at this. Ducks. God, someone's got a dinghy with them. That's awesome. Check this out, man. Oh well, we're going to have to go explore this, aren't we? I'll do a... Explore Gro Groningen video later. That'll, that'll probably be another one, but... Yeah. Oh my god, it's so peaceful here. I think I've had a bit of a stressful day because of everything that happened at... Uh, Haspier. That was very stressful. They made me queue up twice <laughs> to get the exit key because the woman at reception forgot to give it to me so I queued up once to sign out and then the guy at the, the gate who could have just let me out uh, he made me go back to reception and get the, the signing out key which I had to give to him anyway so I had to go and queue up and get the key and then oh, Going back to reception was a pain in the ass because I had to reverse the van into like three other vehicles and they all had to move out of the way. But yeah, but yeah that's going to be it for this video today guys. And then I'll do another one where I'm uh, wandering the campsite like a mad explorer. But this place looks amazing. This is so much more relaxing than the other one. Like fair enough the other one had a lake but it just there's so many people there and it was just so much hustle and bustle so yeah. I'm glad I'm here, 100%. But yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.